love. Today I'm going to show you how to make the atomic weight. You're going to need two of them for this bracelet. You're going to set that up that, so that all six rows are even. This is a good way to set up your bases so that the loom stays together. You're going to start with your border. You're going to place two bands from this peg to this peg. You're only using two bands here. Then you're just going to you're going to do single bands for the rest of the bracelet. Your arrow should be pointing away from you. You're going to place the second band from here to here. Third band from here to here. And then you're just going to go straight up the loom. So you're going to place the first band from here to here. Second from here to here. Third from here to here. And so on and so forth. stop at these two pegs here. You're not doing one in the middle like you did at the beginning of your loom. Now you're going to do the other side. You're going out from this peg to this peg. Then out from this peg to this peg. And straight up again. Now on this middle, these middle two pegs here, you're going to take a, you're basically going to make a capping band. You're going to take a band, make a figure eight shape, double it over on itself and place it across these two pegs. Now you're going to be doing this part of your bracelet. You're going to place your first band from this peg to this peg. Then your second band from this peg to this peg. You're kind of making a zigzag. Again, you're placing the next band from this peg to this peg, fourth band from this peg to this peg, and fifth from this peg to this peg. Now, you're going to be taking your second color and you're making, you're doing the opposite thing. So you're placing a band from this peg to this peg, from this peg to this peg, from this peg to this peg, this peg to this peg, and this peg to this peg. You just continue this all the way down the loom. Again, you're taking your first band, placing it from here to here. Second band, placing it from here to here. Third band, placing it from here to here. Fourth band, placing it from here to here. And fifth band, placing it from here to here. Again, you're taking this, the, your second color, placing it from here to here. Placing it from the third, second from here to here, third from here to here, fourth from here to here, and fifth from here to here. Again, you're continuing this all the way down the loom.
Now you're going to turn your loom around so the arrow's pointing towards you. You're almost ready to hook. You just need to add some capping bands. So you're going to make a take a band, twist it into a figure eight shape, double it over on itself, place one on this on one on this peg here. Oh, sorry. Place a capping band on one of each of these pegs at the end. Again, the arrow's pointing towards you now. And making a figure eight shape, doubling it over on itself. Oops, you might want to straighten it out a bit. Making a figure eight shape, doubling it over on itself, placing it on this bit here. Making a figure eight shape, doubling it over on itself, placing it on this peg here. And then you just gotta make two more. One. Now we're ready to start hooking. You're gonna push back this band at the corner here and grab the top blue band. Sorry, you're gonna push back this capping band. Grab the top blue band and loop it diagonally like so. Now you're gonna push in this, the next one where there's blue. So you're skipping one, one peg. You're gonna push back the capping band Grab the top one, loop it diagonally to the left, and then grab the last blue one and loop it diagonally to the right. Again, you're going to skip a peg, push back the capping band, grab the top one, loop, it should be looped diagonally, push back the capping band again, grab the last blue band and loop it to the right. It should look like this so far. Now you're going to be looping the orange bands. You're going to push back the second capping band here, grab the top orange band, loop it to the left, gonna push back this capping band again, grab the last orange one, and loop it to the peg on the uh, right. You're gonna, again, you're going to skip a peg, push back this, the next capping band, grab the top one, loop it diagonally to the left, Grab the last one and loop it diagonally to the right. Oops. You're going to loop your last one in diagonally to the left like that. Again, you're going to push back this orange band here, loop this green band diagonally, push back these orange bands here, loop this blue band diagonally to the left, push back, grab the last blue one, loop it diagonally to the right, again skipping a peg, push back these orange bands, push it, grabbing the top band, looping it to the diagonally to the left, and grabbing the last blue band and looping it diagonally to the right. Again you push now you're gonna push back this these blue bands. Grab the top orange band, whoops, and loop it to the left. Then grab the last one, loop it to the right. And you're doing the same in the next peg. And again, you're looping the last one in like that. You just continue this all the way down the loop.
together because of the tension, so you might need to Now you're going to be hooking the border. You're going to push back these four bands, so including this one that goes around the middle. You're going to grab the bottom band and loop it up to the side like that. Then you're going to grab the bottom band again and loop it to the side. Now you're going to grab the bottom band and loop it forward. Doing this all the way down the loom, you're just hooking straight forward, grabbing the bottom band. looping this middle band here till the end so you don't loop that. So you're only looping two to the side. You might want to push it down because because of the tension it might the two pegs might be really close together so it can pop off. Then you're going to push back these four bands so including this band that's going around the middle you're going to grab the bottom band and loop it up to the side and you're doing that again. You do the exact same thing as you did on the other side. So you're just grabbing the bottom band and lifting it forward all the way down. Now what you're going to do is, on this band that should be in the middle of all six pegs, right there, you're going to push back all the bands. So you're going to grab those bottom two bands that you placed at the very beginning, grab them and just, whoops, I only grabbed one. Grab both of them and you're just going to hold them because the other side of it is still in this peg here. So you're going to push back these bands, grab the bottom two, which should be this band as well that you're holding. So it should all be one band here. You're going to place that on the gripper of your hook. Now you can just take it off the loom. I suggest for a kid's wrist, you go about six bands up. Your air should be pointing away from you. Now you're going to take this off your gripper and place it onto this peg here. You've got to be very careful because this is, if this slips off your hook, your whole bracelet would wreck. So you're going to place it on this peg here. Now you're going to turn your loom around so the air is pointing towards you. And you're just going to hook straight forwards. You're going to take this last band and stretch it out, then add a C-clip. Then take it off the loom. Now you can add the extension onto the other side. You'll notice a capping band right in the middle. You can attach it oops, onto the C-clip, just like that. There you have your atomic weave bracelet. Thanks for watching.